Hello and welcome to my video. This video is similar to my last video where the function fx is defined as an integral and you have to find the minimum value and when fx becomes the minimum. So if you haven't checked my previous video, uh, feel free to check it by clicking the link on the top right corner or personally, I think this problem is actually easier than my previous video. So you can watch this video till the end and then check my previous video as well. All right, now let's take a look at the function. Here, the difference from the last video is that now we have x here at the upper end of the interval of the integral. And the integrand is now a function of only t. And this actually makes the problem much simpler than my previous one, because now we can use this very important and beautiful theorem, which is the first part of the fundamental theorem of calculus, which will help us greatly. So the theorem is, if we define capital Fx as the integral from some constant a to the variable x, ft dt, then the derivative of capital Fx is simply Fx, which means that if we want to find the derivative of this function, all we have to do is just replace this t with x. Right, now let's get into the problem. In order to find the minimum, we must first differentiate this function. And here, by our fundamental theorem of calculus, the derivative is simply the function which we replace t with x. So it is simply absolute value of x times x minus 1. So we have absolute value x here. So if you write two cases separately, f prime x is expressed as this when x is positive and this when x is negative. And since both are quadratic functions, we can easily sketch the graph of f prime x, which looks like this. Or if we plot this in the Desmos graphing calculator, the graph of f prime x looks like this. So here I simply defined fx as the function given as integral, just like the problem. And Desmos graphing calculator can actually plot this function, which I will show you later. And I simply defined gx as the derivative of this fx, and I am showing its graph right here. And the equation for the derivative of fx was like this. So if we plot this graph instead in green color, you can clearly see that this graph is exactly the same as the derivative of this fx given in blue color. Okay, so this blue graph is f prime x, the derivative. And what was fx? fx is defined as the integral of this function from minus 1 to x. So if we represent it as the area between the graph and the x-axis, it looks like this. The integral from minus 1 to uh, some x value right here. And of course, the negative value of f prime x uh, contributes to the negative area. So when does this integral become minimum? In order to find that, we have to investigate the increase or decrease of fx using the sign of the derivative of f. So if we investigate the sign, f prime becomes zero at x equals zero and x equals one. And from this graph, you can clearly see that f prime is negative here, negative here, and positive here. So it means that f decreases here, also decreases here, and increases here. So we have f zero here and f1 here, and you can clearly see that the f1 is the minimum. Therefore, the minimum value is f1, which is integral from minus one to one, absolute value of t times t minus one dt. And since we have absolute value here, we have to divide this integral into two intervals. So from minus one to zero, we have minus t, t minus 1 dt, and from 0 to 1, we have t, t minus 1 dt. So if we integrate this, we have minus 1 over 3 t cubed plus 1 over 2 t square. And if we integrate this, we obtain 1 over 3 t cubed minus 1 over 2 t square. And if we calculate all of this, we simply obtain minus 1. So this is our final answer. And again, actually, we can also plot the graph of fx as well, because we can actually define the function as the definite integral in Desmos graphing calculator. 
So yes, Desmos is actually quite powerful visualization tool. So here's the graph of fx given in orange color. The y values of this orange curve is the integral of this blue curve, which is f prime x from minus 1 to x. So from this graph, you can clearly see that uh, when x is less than 0, the graph decreases and the slope becomes temporarily 0 at x equals 0, as we've already saw in this table. And then the graph decreases again between 0 and 1. And actually, the graph becomes minimum at x equals 1. And when x becomes greater than 1, the graph increases. So yes, uh, even though we have already calculated and understood all of them, it is still really cool to uh, actually visualize the result using tools like uh, Desmos. So that was the video today. Hope you enjoyed it. And please consider a like and subscribe to my channel to learn more cool stuff about math. And if you haven't seen my previous video, please check it on the top right corner. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video.